Have you ever wondered how frog farming in China operates? Well, let me enlighten you. Frog farming in the Middle Kingdom is quite an intriguing process involving unique techniques and specialized equipment. Every year, China processes and consumes an astonishing 2,000 tons of frog legs. That's a lot of frog legs, wouldn't you agree? The process starts with preparing a suitable area, ensuring the right living conditions, and managing frog ponds. Just like any other farming, it requires meticulous attention to detail and a deep understanding of the species' biology. Female frogs lay hundreds, sometimes even thousands of eggs, which eventually hatch into tadpoles and transform into baby frogs. Feeding frogs organic food and maintaining a clean water source is crucial for their growth. After reaching a certain stage, these frogs are harvested, slaughtered, and prepared for both domestic and foreign markets due to their high nutritional value. In this video, we will uncover how this fascinating process unfolds. The process starts with preparing a suitable area for the frogs. This involves more than just digging a hole and filling it with water. The environment needs to be just right. Frogs are sensitive creatures and their well-being is closely tied to the conditions of their habitat. The pond must be in a location that gets plenty of sunlight and the water must be clean and fresh. The depth of the pond is key too, as it needs to be shallow enough for the frogs to reach the surface easily, yet deep enough to protect them from predators. It's also crucial to manage the area around the pond. A well-maintained frog farm will have vegetation around the pond to provide shelter for the frogs, and the area should be kept free of potential hazards. Once the area is set, the next step involves the frogs themselves. Breeding frogs is a unique process. And it all begins with the female frogs, who are the real champions here. They lay an astonishing number of eggs, ranging from hundreds to thousands, depending on the species. These eggs, often laid in clusters, will eventually hatch into tadpoles. Now, tadpoles are fascinating creatures. They start off as tiny fish-like beings, but don't be fooled by their initial appearance. Over time, these tadpoles undergo a remarkable transformation, a process known as metamorphosis, where they develop legs and lungs and gradually turn into baby frogs. But their journey doesn't end there. To grow into healthy adult frogs, they need a balanced diet and clean water. This is where organic food comes into play. Frogs are fed a variety of organic food, including earthworms, bugs, and even small fish. This not only keeps them healthy, but also ensures they grow to their full potential. Maintaining a clean water source is just as crucial. Frogs, being amphibians, spend a significant part of their lives in water. So it's essential to keep their aquatic environment clean and free from pollutants. This nurturing environment and the right diet help these baby frogs mature. And once they reach a certain stage, they are ready for the next big step. After reaching a certain stage, these frogs are ready to be harvested. And that's how the cycle of frog farming continues, bringing this high nutrition food source from the pond to the plate. Harvesting is a crucial part of frog farming. It's the moment where all the hard work, dedication and attention to detail pays off. Once our frogs have reached their optimal size and weight, it's time to harvest them. But it isn't as simple as it sounds. Each frog is carefully and humanely captured, ensuring minimal stress to the animal. After the frog is captured, it's time for the next stage, slaughtering. This step is carried out with the utmost respect for the animal, always adhering to ethical and humane practices. The frog is swiftly and painlessly killed, then immediately moved on to the next process. The preparation stage is where the frog truly starts its journey to the market. Here, it's meticulously cleaned, the legs are separated, and the rest of the body is processed. This careful preparation ensures that every part of the frog is put to good use, minimizing waste and maximizing profitability. Once prepared, the frog meat is packed and stored under optimal conditions to retain its freshness, texture, and high nutritional value. It's then ready to be distributed to domestic and foreign markets. Frog meat is highly prized for its unique taste and high nutritional value. It's low in fat, high in protein and packed with essential vitamins and minerals. This makes it a sought-after commodity in markets worldwide, from local grocery stores in China to gourmet restaurants in France. This process ensures that the high demand for frog meat is met across various markets. Frog farming doesn't only provide a source of food. It also presents us with potential solutions for ecological quandaries and opportunities for economic growth. Let's delve into this a bit deeper, shall we? One such quandary is the issue of invasive species such as the Cuban tree frog, 
that found its way to Florida back in the 1920s. These creatures have become a real nuisance, preying on native species, disturbing residents' quality of life, and causing considerable infrastructure damage. Their rapid reproduction and high numbers only intensify these negative impacts. But here's a thought. What if we could turn this problem into a solution? By farming these invasive frogs, we could potentially mitigate the issue while also tapping into a new food source. It's a classic case of making lemonade when life hands you lemons, or in this case, making frog legs when life hands you frogs. And the benefits aren't just ecological. Frog farming can be an economic boon too. Each year, around 2,000 tons of frog legs are consumed, not just domestically, but also in foreign markets. That's a lot of frog legs. And it's not just about the numbers. Frog meat is highly nutritious, making it a desirable food source. Imagine the possibilities for farmers and local economies. With the right techniques and equipment, frog farming could offer substantial economic benefits. It's not just about selling frog legs either. The process of farming itself, from preparing the area, managing frog ponds, to breeding and growing frogs, involves a range of activities that could generate jobs and stimulate local economies. But let's not forget the frogs themselves. Farming them requires careful handling, feeding them organic food, and maintaining clean water sources. These efforts not only support the frog's growth, but also contribute to sustainable farming practices that respect our environment. As we have seen, frog farming involves a complex process with significant implications. It's a fascinating blend of ecology, economy, and gastronomy that deserves our attention. To sum up, frog farming in China is a fascinating process. From the careful preparation of a suitable environment to the meticulous methods of breeding and growing, every step is a testament to the intricate art of agriculture. The process doesn't end at harvesting. Preparing frogs for the market is another vital phase. It's more than just a business. It's a solution to invasive species and a source of economic benefits. The intricate process of frog farming not only meets the high demand for frog meat, but also addresses issues like invasive species and offers economic benefits.